guys, it's Doc with East of Eden. So, I want to take a quick second to first apologize for being out of the game for a little bit. I had an appendectomy, an emergency appendectomy last week, and it's really taken me out of the fight. Um, they did give me pain meds, but I found my craftsmanship when I'm sitting here doing some work stuff goes down when I'm on opiates, which is probably explains most of the screwed up failure of IEDs we ran into in the country. So drinking beer and uh, working leather, doing some gun stuff, keeping myself busy till I can get back at work. Um, but today's video is not about me, it's about Black Rifle Coffee Company. Now, if you're watching my video, you've never seen Black Rifle Coffee stuff on YouTube. You might be Amish that have just tripped and fell upon YouTube. In which case, thank you and welcome to YouTube. Um, Black Rifle Coffee Company is a coffee company. It is owned by a guy named Evan Hafer, who is an Idaho guy. Uh, he's from Lewiston. He graduated high school in Lewiston, Idaho. I doubt he would brag about that. I don't know anybody that would. Um, and they have started an initiative to hire 10,000 veterans for their expansion. Uh, they're talking about opening up about 600 stores, and, and they're just going through a big expansion process. And they've done an initiative to hire 10,000 veterans. This is amazing for the post 9-11 vet community and the Gulf War vet community as well because I've got guys, I know we all do, who have uh, gone into contracting, gone into lineman school, become roughnecks in the oil fields because they don't think that they're able to market themselves to corporate jobs but they still need to make money for the family. So they're going to these places where they can fit in and I mean, sometimes that's just backbreaking work. It's just maybe not where they want to be. It's far away from the family. And this is going to be an opportunity to stay local, work for a great company of vets, for vets, by vets, and make some just good coffee. And that's what Black Rifle Coffee is, first and foremost to me, is a company that makes good coffee. Um, they have a roasting scale. Their lighter stuff is like their Sniper's Hide, Suppressor Smooth. I think the Thin Blue Line's pretty... Um, mellow uh, and it goes up from there all the way up to like my favorite is Murdered Out which is just an awesome blend it's like I think the suppressor smooth is down here sounds are smooth down like they rate it by like 556 and it goes up in caliber from there so 308 is like beyond black and then if like it was up to me I'd have like a 20 mil like here's here's the Bushmaster blend for Colt so I wanted to take the second to say check them out check out Black Rifle Coffee Company get a bag of their coffee, even if you get like the thin blue line bag, those proceeds go to um, you know, life-saving intervention and equipment for law enforcement, training for law enforcement, it goes back to law enforcement. So get a bag of their stuff, try it, it's good coffee. And thank you Black Rifle Coffee Company, thank you Evan Hafer for uh, you know, really looking out for your dudes, and looking out for the vets and making sure that they're getting taken care of because we are a great uh, demographic to hire from, and I'm excited when I move to Washington, I'm going to look it up and see if you guys have uh, a job up there for me. So thank you very much. Speaking of Idaho, um, got tickets for me and the wife to go to Idaho and show you guys some of the things that uh, have kind of been going on that we're bringing up there. Um, working on the KGB Wet Work 1895 Nagant. We've bobbed the grip, threaded the barrel, bobbed the barrel, thread or bobbed the grip. Worked on the firing pin a little bit because we weren't getting very consistent uh, primer strikes due to, you know, comm block ammo for this thing that's the cheapest ammo and just wasn't getting hit hard enough. So that's going to go up there with us. We're going to throw some different cans on it and uh, take some decibel readings. I'm excited for that. We got, uh, so if you've seen our budget thousand yard gun for under a thousand bucks with the Savage um, Axis, that was Red's gun. So I decided to do one for myself. So we did a 6.5 Grendel. This thing has cost me well under $500 so far. Um, just parts I had lying around, favors buddies of me. And we went ahead and put the double oak barrel system on it. So we'll see if that causes much of an impact shift. This is a really nice, light, handy package. Throws right into my pack, my ugler stock, and I think it should be good for, uh, for deer season, chasing down the muleys up in North Idaho. And that's about all that's going on here. Like I said, the appendix is out and it's kind of slowed me down, but expect more content. And the biggest takeaway from this video is just thank you, Evan Haver. Thank you, Black Rifle Coffee Company. And just keep doing awesome stuff.